Today, Namgongo Matters Church painted a canvas of joy as over 700 children gathered for a festive children Christmas Sunday. From spirited games to radiant face paintings and heartening music, the day was a celebration of the enduring joy found in the birth of Jesus Christ. According to Reverend Grace Jerome Kovma, the assistant vicar at Namgongo Matters Church, despite the world's trials, the birth of Jesus Christ remains a reason for rejoicing, which is why such a day was organized for the children. This is the day that we organized as Namgongo Matters Church, that we have our children lead us through singing, through playing, through reading scriptures. This is the day that they demonstrate what it means for them, for the Lord Jesus Christ to be born. One of the things that we are celebrating today is that the children are actually knowing within their hearts that much as there is suffering, much as there are struggles, much as there are challenges in this world, yet they can rejoice because the Lord Jesus Christ who was born comes to give us freedom comes to give us peace. Ronald Kasasa, the head of Light in Amgongo Matters Church, echoed out what it took to bring up such an event, among which was the support from the parents. It took us uh, a lot of a lot of uh, effort, a lot of resources uh, to put this, this together. Uh, financially, of course, to mobilize the children, getting the equipment together, and you know, getting the trainers in place, it requires a lot of you know, resources. But also, on the side of the parents, the mobilization of the children coming to church every day, because it was a, a, a daily training. Getting the children uh, to the church every day to train, it requires time, it requires resources, it requires commitment. So we saw commitment on the side of the church, which is providing an enabling environment for all the Christians to participate uh, in such an uneventful activity. The event had over 50 teachers who were ensuring the well-being of the children and while interacting with them, they highlighted the significance of such an event towards the children's lives. This is a day that the church chooses to offer and give back to children. It is an event that uh, children, where children lead the services, then they get to, to play, then they get to have fun at, 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 as their Christmas party and then later on the whole day ends in a production where they do music, dance and drama just to celebrate the birth of Jesus, reminding us that Jesus Christ was born to save us from our sins. We have been overwhelmed with so many children, both from Namgongo and all over. Uh, God has been so good for us. Uh, he has provided us the finances. Because of the teachers around who have been able to take care of his children and it has been a success. We want to thank God for it. Events are very important. We are trying to create awareness and sensitizing the children is a very big, important activity that we can do. And we pass on the torch. We want to pass on the generation that is going to know Christ. The generation that will be able to know that Jesus Christ was born and he's there to save the world. Other teachers we spoke to noted some of the challenges faced by children, especially during the holidays. There are quite a lot of challenges because sometimes we have children who are at home, but you find the parents are not church goers. But the child would love to be in church, but he cannot come to church. So children are, are faced by the challenges of having parents who are not church goers and they end up missing out on such functions like this. And then there are the children who you find they are always good in the worldly music, saying the words that are beyond them because they are not nurtured in the spirit of the Lord, to walk with the Lord. In this holiday, these events help children to be in God's presence, to be in the right place at the right time in the, in the right area. Because we've been with children training them for two weeks. And this has helped them. This has helped them to learn about God, to learn about the Bible, other than spending time on TVs. The day also saw a number of parents attend, and through Church of Uganda Family TV, they called upon their fellow parents to always embrace such events, adding that cooperation between two parents of the children results into better upbringing. A number of parents may not give much attention to such events, but it's very important. Many of us grew up participating in such events. The number of things that a child may learn when she, he or she participates in such events. We have, we have observed a number of children displaying a number of potentials that we would 
as parents, women have, have identified in a child. But by you allowing your children to participate in such, the number of things that the child may benefit, one from the fellow children, but also in terms of building the child's career. We were once home with our children during the lockdown and we felt the pitch. So we appreciate the teachers in the children's ministry for the sacrifice, for the dedication, and for the great work that they are doing. I uh, would also like to encourage parents, especially the fathers, to come out in these spaces and be around their children. We usually see more of the mothers coming out in such spaces, and yet raising a child takes two people. So I would also want to encourage the fathers to, to start coming up to events. Even on visitation days, you only find a mother and yet it's better you move together. It was excitement as our team interacted with the children who shared how they felt about the event. Christmas is all about fun, enjoy, enjoyment, outing. What I've come here to do is to sing. And I let the song glorious. Christmas is the day when Jesus was born. I've met many new friends today. And today... I've learned how to respect others and learn how to sing.